Hi, the boy who cares, and I want to talk about feeling. And before people say on the comments, which I, I'm going to get two comments on this, at least two, you know what I mean? Saying, uh, why are you doing a video on this now? Because, you know, the anime came out almost a year now. Actually, just over a year now. And loads of people are praising it. Are giving high scores and all that stuff. So, why are you doing a video on it now? Well, I want to say my thoughts of it. Because I just watched all 28 episodes in one go. And... Yes, the reason why it took me so long to do that is I got so many armies to watch on my list still. And also, especially in the last 12 months, I've been more into manga than army. Again, I still go watch anime, but I'm more into manga. And yes, I know people will say, why are you having read it then if you're into manga? Well, just like anime, I got a big manga wish to eat. That includes One Piece, which I haven't even finished reading, and I just bought all the four box sets. And on top of that, I need to buy at least 16 volumes on top of that. And yes, I did start watching One Piece about a year and a half ago. I got around 500 odd. I decided to stop watching it and read it instead for the beginning. So, that'll be your own video in the future. So, with that bit out of the way, I will put this video in three sessions. Session one will be the story, what my thought on the story. Session two will be about the characters. And session three will be my all or thought of it all together. Now, it's not gonna be deep deep because right as I said before, this series is so popular, there's so many videos out there. Go to deep, go to raw. Go to everything about the world of film. So basically, I'm not going to go that far into the death of the world and the story of that. The whole point of this video is share my thoughts, share my views of what I thought of Bin's watching this in one go. So, let's get on to the story, shall we? So, the story. Now, their facial image of this. I thought it's going to be a typical fantasy adventure anime. I did. But it's more than that. It is. It's so much more than that. Now, the thing is, it is technically. But what makes it stand out compared to all the others uh, fantasy adventure type animes or manga is the open episode. Now, the open episode is genius. Now, basically... It's the end. Yeah, the whole story starts as an end. And yeah, it's weird. Basically, it this could have been the whole anime. Or the whole series of manga. But instead, their story is finished. It defeated the um, Devil King. And basically, it goes to separate ways. And then, you know, time flies. And it reunite for reunion, the guild and reunion. Now, the thing what make this, you know, heartbreaking in a way is two of the members are human and two others are not. Now, one of them is like this mid I don't know if he's a troll or he's a god. I can't remember what he is, but he's got this ass, he's got this helmet. Again, he's a badass character. Now, basically, um, he cannot equalize, but it takes very, very long. Then we've got our main character, Fionn. And she um, is an elf. And she ages very, 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 very slowly. She does, to a point that she's to over a thousand years old. If you go by, you know, the his story. Now, I'm not going to go to death on her character because... Why I said I'm going to do a card a bit on this video. I will talk about it in a minute. Basically, it all reunites. And basically, it got one last little mini adventure. And then you got the leader of the guild. He died at old age. Now, 
the minute that he got buried, our main character, Phelan, she was heartbroken. Because just the thing about her, she is an elf and she don't have any emotions first week. You see that in the, you know, the first half of the episode before he died. She got no emotion. Dean was upset that she said goodbye to the group on the first time around after the big adventure. But again, that's what she was. But the minute that he died, the minute that he went to the ground, she was in tears because of he is gone. And she got regret about her feelings towards him. Again, the thing is, it don't say it, but the emotions on the face, you know she cares about him. So, again, it's heartbreaking. And basically, that's what her path is. She want to know more about humans. And basically, that's what her path ended up going on with. And basically... She carry on her life until he go to the priest, which is you know no human in that group, and basically um, he's gone older too, he's sick, and basically he adopted this little girl, and basically um, he asked her, "Can you you know make her your apprentice?" She refused, and then somehow he tricks her again. And then she end up, you know, obviously then he dies. She end up going with a feeling on this grand adventure. You know, going to heaven. Basically. And that's basically the first half of the army head towards. Now, even though not much happens after that open couple of episodes. Because it's around, I say around... Episode 9 is, I can't remember which one it is. Then you can see more of the Demon War stuff actually does happen. You still want to watch more of this world. Because the world it built on this feeling world is unbelievable. It's well written. It's good to a heart. And the story is so interesting. Even like the North Town folks, the story is so fascinating. So well told. And you want to know more. And that's one thing I can praise about the story so far now on the first half. Then you got the second half, which is more, I say, action packed, as I say. Because on her quest, you need to go to the certain land, but the problem is she needs a level 3 um, you know, ranking of, you know, you know, being a maze. And the thing is, yet, yeah, you don't see the file. She's an unbelievable, powerful maze. She can't be asked, you know, doing the wankings because it changed so many times during here. You know, living there, you know, like I said before, she's over a thousand years old, you know what I mean? So it can't change and, you know, the wheels and stuff like that. She can't be asked. So basically, she got to retake the exam along with her apprentice. And basically, that's what the second half of the army is is getting that wanking so I can move on to, you know, the next chapter basically of the story that's what the whole first season is you know second half of the season is so like i said i think the story is fantastic i cannot wait to see more now the one two part i got with this which i will explain on the cards as bit on the minute but except from that i love the story so let's go to the cards shall we now the characters now i'm not gonna go to any characters because there's a, a lot of characters in this you know there's a lot of in for one episode there's a lot of in for a handful of episodes which i will still mention this one character which i mentioned a minute on that bit and the characters that are in flashbacks now the first character i like to talk about is um Thirin. now the thing that made her so good so well written is her journey was finished. On the open episode where I said before, she done her goals. She won powerful as a, ma as a maze. You know, she defeated the um, Devil King and she part ways with her guild. 
you know, and any other happy ending of any fantasy story. But during this piece of times, it's been her own in many adventures, you know, as well for more spells, which he's obsessed with. You know, there are a lot of spells that are pointless, she still find them fascinating. And basically, she's still sort of missing. So, what is, by what her faith, she knows there's something missing until she went back to reunion with her guild. By it or Azen. You know, mainly she saw Finja running him up, the leader of the group. And he become this old ma- weak old man. You know, he's still strong in some ways, but basically he's not the same person he was that she last saw him. And basically when he died, that then she was broken. And she knows there's sort of missing and that's what I love about the series that she knows there's sort of missing but at the same time she knows deep down what it is which don't want to say you can tell that on the on his face that's how well written this show is now obviously the other stuff she does you know like the way she is she's not just you know a Goku character she's stupid she is in a way but she's dead smart in other ways She's not at a Goku level, but at the same time, she's not like, you know, a Mr. Know-it-all. She's you know, Mrs. Know-it-all, that she knows everything. She still don't know, you know, the key life skills, where you get moments that she's a badass, but you get moments that she's fucking goofy, you know, and dense, you know what I mean? And I think it's a nice balance for this character, and it's so well written. So... Yes, he's a good lead in this. Then you've got her apprentice, Finn. Now, she's an interesting character because she was adopted by um, the other human member of a um, villain um, guild, from a guild, which is um, Peter. And basically, he's this uh, priest who likes to drink. You get a nickname of the corrupt priest. And beyond it, yeah, he just. Like this kind guy, you know what I mean? Now, he adopted there, and basically he raised there, and somehow he managed to teach her the basic of, you know, being a maze. And basically, he somehow tricked her villain to take her on as her apprentice. Now, her card is very interesting, like I said before, with that bit. Now, with her back to with her parents or that, her real parents, we don't know nothing as anime. Again, I haven't read the manga. It could have meant a bit more detail in that later on the chapters. But in the first 28 episodes, there's no detail about that yet. But again, the potential of some interest with that. Now, her type of card is quite un- Again, it's typical, but at the same time, it's a good balance with the group. Basically, she's this, you know, over, she's trying to be the over team. She's trying to put herself, but at the same time, she can ask childish, you know what I mean? And if she does, she is so fucking adorable, you know what I mean? She, one minute she's dead serious, and then next minute, she's actually a brat, but technically, she's a kid. You know, she grows up being this wise, eh? Um, you know, maze, and she's it, a kid sometimes on beta stuff that you know to get tamsomed over. You know, again, not like okay, not, like, not over the top, but got that little face, you know what I mean? That <laughs> face, you know what I mean? Which again, so so cute on that side. But here as a character, yeah, she goes on yet yeah, from the first time she had a little girl, and then you see her growing up. And she becomes this powerful maze. And she is so well done. And of course, her love interest, Stark. And yeah, in our love interest, it's obvious the way it's written, the way it's showing. It. It's one of those ones that, it'll go with Mickey and Sofa. But it's so adorable, you know what I mean? Anytime it's on screen, their connection is so well done in this. But he is um, an apprentice of. 
anyone if, if I'd that thing like you know the why I said before feeling um Gilman the one who's it's like a troll or um I don't know what he is but he's like feeling a bit but obviously not uh, you know he can't age as feeling can as an elf but he can still live a bit more longer than humans basically he is his apprentice and he got an interesting backstory too that he was in this proud family of you know warriors and basically he is a saint by his father except his brother his brother cares about him and basically his brother um helps him and basically runs away and he's a coward then the first time i see him you think he's just big badass with a big axe you know what i mean and then obviously he's not like this tell me stark just how many monsters have you fought oh, big fat zero okay don't abandon me free red 92 <laughs> yeah i gotta admit that made me laugh because he just big badass then <laughs> but also god he is like a badass in this you know and again his connection white with Ben is fantastic why I said it's so adorable and he is a goofball like a young lad should be and he wants to go on the adventure to thank his thank Ellen for raising him and telling his stories on his adventures before he dies you know what I mean so he got like a little goal set on there then you got like one more card that I want to mention because this card to me is key but he wasn't in it much which is this priest name sign and basically he's like him um, hater basically with he's um he's a priest that drinks that gambles that smokes you know what i mean and he's a bit more older as, than the rest of the group always not old as villain because he's human but basically um he got his own mini goal of his friend went on an adventure and he then went with him and he regretted it and basically he got convinced to go with the gang to go on this quest with them to go achieve his goals now the only bit i i said before one of the nerves i got is this character because i think he's a good character the only problem is you don't spend much time with him because if i remember on my bins he's only in like four for five six i say max and then he leaves the group yeah, he took leave to quit because his friends is more in the south. Well, A got to go to the north, you know, Phil and the gang had to go to the north. And as a fan, I want a bit more of him. Hopefully, again, when I said before, I haven't read the manga, he might come back. I do hope he does because he is a good character to have. And I do think I do miss that fourth character. Cause I do think four is a magic number for like this type of zone. You know I mean, I think it do miss that fourth member, and I think he was a pair of fifth but with a group. You know I mean, so that's my one nerves I got with the characters. All the rest, yeah, I think it's well written. So we're going my overall, shall we? So my overall on this show is it's a very good song it is fantastic you know what i need to mention is the music oh my god the music is so good the background music is so well written you know well proposed the music why is it put on the cars the cars are well written the story the world building is there it is all, all fantastic and a good little spin on this fantasy anime thing because it kind of went with a way of it's another guild adventure but be honest with you this is the thing i'm about to say it might be a bit controversial if somehow in the future feeling finished i won't mind a prequel series about feeling and the gang the old guild because anytime you see the flashback or just a thing basically nearly any single episode you get here flashback you know hear memories from her adventures from the guild and you can see this group are so connected so well written together 
uh, I won't mind seeing the Avengers. I'm, I'm gonna, I know people might say, oh, that's the whole point of the show. You're not meant to see that. You're meant to see nitpicks and then you see hair as a kind of grown. Yeah, I agree. I'm not saying do it right now. What I'm saying is once this story completed, like the manga complete completely, maybe, maybe if you want to do like, you know, a prequel series based on that, you're not going to stop doing it because you've got the whole concept, you know, of fear and know what I mean. It could be like the Star Wars thing where, oh, you got, you know, these sequels and then we do the prequels. Obviously, I hope we do a better job than the prequels, you know what I mean? <laughs> but that's what I would say on that bit. And the question I got is, what I tackled this video is, is this a masterpiece? At the moment now, I cannot say, sadly. Now, straight away, I'm going to rank it. Yeah, it's 10 out of 10. It is 10 out of 10. But I'm not saying masterpiece yet. I've got two reasons why. Reason one, I think the manga is not finished yet. It's still, I'm not, I'm not sure how far it got to go yet. At the time, you, you know, what you know, what you're doing this video. At the moment now, it's not finished. So, it could go with, like, a crappy direction in the end. But it does happen sometimes. So, there's that bit. And two, which is one of my worst fears I got with this, which I hope they don't, because, because it becomes so popular, they're going to um, wash it. It could go right two routes. Route one, the Port of Nairland route, which, God help, please don't do that, because Port of Nairland season one was fantastic. Then you got season two, where, yeah, it's skipped a lot of content. Or two, I might get attacked for this because there are a big group that love this army, which again, I do love this world too. Fairy tale root or full metal root where it put fill stuff in while it's not finished. Well, Betty full metal. Well, full metal. That got put fill stuff because when the, the first army came out, not Bullet Hood, the first army came out because it becomes so popular. They start to do fill stuff because of, you know, the anime, you know, the manga haven't finished. So they start making stuff up. I end up being a sightly train wreck. You know what I mean? And Fairy Tale, a lot of people said the manga's better than the anime. You know, I do like the anime, so I can't judge on that bit yet, but that's what I hear from the community. And I've got the mangas on my list. I do want to get the fairy tale manga to just to see, just to confirm that. So, yeah, straight away, yeah, like I just said, it is a 10 out of 10. It is a must watch. Anything there with the manga, which I never read the manga, it is so good. And it's on my list now to buy on mangas. I'm going to get all the volumes eventually of Villain because I think this story is fantastic. I want to see, I want to carry on the story. I think if I've done my research way, it's around uh, volume seven. Two tapers at, uh, into volume seven, where the end of season one kicks in. So if that's true, I don't to pick that up and then, you know, read it all and then get the rest. Or I might to get them all at once because I do love, you know, this series on the anime. So I won't give the manga a chance to. And yes, then season two comes out, which it probably will, but it is a good hit, so uh, anime. I'm definitely going to watch it. So, we're going my outro, shall we? So, my outro. Why like I said, I had a blast watching this. I decided to watch this, you know, this week. I planned to watch it weeks ago before I went on holidays, but the problem is, I never got a chance because, you know, where I was going, there's no Wi Fi, and there's no way to download it because I got the basic country roll, not the, um, what you call it, the mega fan thing where you can download episodes. Because again, me being type, and also there are so many subscription services, you know what I mean? So obviously, I, I need to save money I can, you know what I mean? So it's been fair for a while, 
a lot of people told me to watch the series and even content creators that you know i talked to online like ginter he told me to watch the series and i thought okay i give us a chance i binge watched it in two days and i had a blast with this seriously if you were put off by watching this for some real reason seriously put it on top of your list I got told if I can to put on top of your list straight away. I made out to his advice because it is a good show. It is a good anime. Seriously, watch this anime. So my question of the day is, what you thought of uh, feeling? Because I hear it in the comments below. You want to see more videos like this in the future? Please like the video, subscribe, and this made a break you guys. See you on the next one.